Hello, everybody. Welcome to this 2CRSI and Open Compute Project webinar. Today, we are very excited to have a talk with our partners from the Open Compute Project, also known as OCP. We will learn more about the story behind this very important partnership for the TCRSI group, and we will also reveal our brand new 21 inches service portfolio inspired by the OCP and called the Open Plus by 2CRSI. My name is Sebastian Germain. I'm in charge of global go-to-market uh, 2CRSI group, and I will be your moderator for today's session. If you have any questions, please ask them in the Q&A box, and we will answer them at the end of the session or later via email if we cannot answer them all today. Of course, uh, this webinar is being recorded. We will send you the recording link after the session so you can watch it again at any time. Um, now I would like to introduce you to our speakers for today's session. We are honored to have with us Steve Helvey, a VP Channel Development of the Open Compute Project, Adrien Banina, Director of Innovation uh, of the 2CRSI Group, and uh, Tolga Dogan, Senior Product Manager at 2CRSI in charge of our Octopus and Open Plus 21 inches service portfolio. So without further ado, I hand it over to you, Steve. Uh, you will open the floor for us today. Enjoy the webinar. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Always great to partner with the team at 2CRSI. Um, it's really pretty interesting to watch how 2CR, 2CRSI has embraced open source in the last few years. Um, this entire session today is going to be focused on the open source hardware community. And a lot of people are asking, well, why would I open source hardware designs? I mean, it's very obvious why you would open source software, but why would I open source hardware? Well, if I'm a customer, one of the benefits that is I, that with open source hardware is you have multiple sources working off of a single community-oriented specification. But if I'm also a vendor, what do I get out of open sourcing my hardware designs? I get that pace of engineering of working alongside a group of customers from a variety of industries, other vendors and other suppliers to get a broad base of customer requirements and really getting that access to markets and that pace of engineering. And that's really the impetus behind the Open Compute Project. So the Open Compute Project now is around over 240 companies, 8,000 engineers, and almost 200 contributions. We have a variety of projects uh, across the data center. So right now we're at 25 or 30 different projects, everywhere from networking to storage to server, even sub-projects under the server around accelerator modules, HPC, Edge, and Telco. So these projects are run by volunteers. They help manage individual communities and drive the industry forward. And there are four things that embody everything that we do within Open Compute. And these are our four tenets, efficiency, scale, growth, and openness. And so every one of those projects manages to these four tenants, and you'll see these type of tenants on display today as 2CRSI shares more about their portfolio. And now let me bring in Adrian to tell you more about 2CRSI, and not only about the company itself, but their journey toward open hardware. Now, th this is a pretty unique company, and they could be working with a lot of different traditional hardware vendors out there, but they chose to move their strategy toward an open business model. So I want to keep I want you to keep those four tenants in mind as Adrian shares how they've moved their entire business from a traditional infrastructure toward an open source hardware model. Adrian, over to you. Yeah. Hello, Steve. Hello, everybody. Thank you for the introduction. So 2CRSI is a French company based in Strasbourg in the east of France. Um, you, we are a group of 350 people worldwide. We are present in 11 countries uh, with seven plans and uh, 21 offices. So um, next slide. We have on our core business, uh, as we were created in, in 2005, uh, we, we, we design, manufacture and, and create uh, hardware and servers. Uh, generally, it's um, completely adapted to the need of the customers. So uh, we've got different uh, range of sector industries. 
we've got uh, ISP, uh, scientific, industries, uh, research, education, uh, software provider, but also we, we, we build some server for HPC, uh, for huge storage. Um, also, we have got some solution for networks and um, we, we give also tons of server for cloud uh, services. We've got a vision. Uh, our vision first was to to have a, a to, to have a power reduction. In, in, when you've got a server, we want them to to use less energy to work. The second point in uh, 2023 will be reuse the fatal heat from the servers uh, or data centers to do something else with the heat. And in 2025, the idea. It's to create something to regenerate the heat, perhaps having some electricity behind, so we will improve the efficiency of the servers. Our customers, as you can see here, are in um, different kind of spec. We've got internet telcos uh, like OVH, um, free uh, Cloud 4C, for example. We've got software editors like Ubuntu. We work also with science and educations, uh, Caltech, the CERN research industries like CGG, oil and gas, or Rolls-Royce, and also government defense like Group Dassault or Airbus and uh, Royal Mail. So the story behind our partnership with Open Compute Project. I will try to explain you how we were arrived to this point. In 2017, uh, we, we, we had uh, a call for tender. So uh, we answer this tender. It was for 500 standard server in, in 19 inch. So we were selected after answering this tender, but the customer had a specific request. He wanted to have the server in, in, in three weeks. And at this period, it was not possible because there were some uh, lot of shortage and um, on components due to the uh, cryptocurrency. So all the GPU uh, cards and 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 and, and um, SSD and other kind of components were not available, and um, we said no, it's not possible. So the customer went with another manufacturer, but three months later, he called us back and and. We, we just go deeper in the discussion. And in fact, he didn't want just 500 servers, but thousands of servers and all the same. So uh, after reflection, we, we just go in, 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 the man, in, in the research and development of new kind of server. And we said, oh, OCP, it's the perfect deal for that. So it's larger server, it's 21 inch. We've got space inside. We don't have to put a lot of PSU because you've got power shelf. And we tried to develop a new product based on one open U with a dual socket motherboard and four GPU inside, no fans. And all of this uh, product, we, we give it name, it was, it's Octopus. So uh, we sold more than uh, 8,000 uh, servers to these customers. It, it's a real uh, success story. And um, in 2018, we went OCP members and uh, we met, we've made some contribution uh, because we, we had to develop some specific component for these customers, like a, a new PDU that can, um, you can analyze the consumption of all the rack and also a new uh, PDB power distribution board uh, that enabled some specific connection with less cables. So uh, today, uh, our R&D team is really uh, engaged in, in various projects that uh, OCP purpose, like uh, rack design and power or advanced cooling solutions, because we believe that using um, OCP, perhaps in immersion, can be an option to reduce um, the, the, the energy used by the servers. 
Uh, thank you very much, Adrian. Now I would like to introduce you to Tolga Dogan. Uh, Tolga is a senior product manager at 2CRSI and he's in charge of the OCP inspired ranges. So the Octopus and the Open Plus offers more specifically. Um, the floor is all yours, Tolga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear colleagues, for the transition. So let's have a look what's open on the market. So this slide shows the situation on the different uh, uh, on the different uh, aspect of the uh, of, of the market uh, if we analyze the market trend we can notice a reduction of PUE uh, power usage effectiveness for the last 12 years in the worldwide data center a graphic on the top right shows that the power density per rack is increasing currently an average of 8.4 kW per rack. At the bottom, segmented cycle shows the repartition of the power requirement per rack. So in conclusion, power density per rack is increasing and in the same time, the PUE trend decrease. This is due to the evolution of IEC standard and the power efficiency regulations. Reduced power consumption of data center is a must. So in a new market environment uh, where the data center have to be more efficient and scalable, 2 CRSI designed two different solutions, the Open Plus product, which is in comply with the OCP specification and the Octopus family inspired by the OCP hardware platform. The benefit of open hardware so we have different benefits. The first one is uh, about uh, the size itself. So proposing a new 21 inches form factor for more density and flexibility give a lot of uh, possibility for your hardware. Optimization on power with centralized power shelf and distribution of power through 12 volt bus bar at the rear of the product, at the rear of the rack. Optimization of cooling and better thermal flow dissipation. So definitely you have more place. So the thermal dissipation becomes better and all the different airflow. And a clever system to ease the maintenance operation. Product is too less hot pluggable and the serviceability made from the front. Our product range for the OCP, it's, a, it's named Open Plus. So basically this Open Plus family is split by two Open UI multi-node servers, Kyoga, Capri or Leopard, and storage as a GBOD and GBOF. The products are in comply with main software ready to be used in edge to cloud or hyperscale infrastructure solutions. Now, let's have a look what's happened at the server. When we speak about 19 or 21 inches server, we must understand what does it mean. In fact, here you can see this is a total width of the server on the 19. The design was quite old compared to what inside the OCP community they have decided to implement. In fact, they enlarge this total width in order to maximize the size of the server itself. So we can understand that you have more advantages, mainly on the density, compared to the 19 solution. There is more place for the IT component and a better airflow and thermal dissipation. One of the major innovation has to be the implementation of centralized power distribution by 12 volt bus bar. On a traditional data center or server, you have the PSU inside where for the 21 inch solution in this model, you have the possibility to connect directly this block, this area to the bus bar. 
So the power is given by this block. No any more PSU inside the server. The, P the PSU function inside the traditional 19 server are now managed at the rack level. This is an important optimization on power distribution and energy, energy efficiency. Now let's have a look at what's happened at the rack. First, we have exactly the same 24 inches, 600 millimeter, 600 millimeter column width. So the floor till pitch is exactly the same between 19 or 21, because it is, ref it is referring only at the server. The evolution has been done inside the cross piece here, redesigned in order to accept 19 plus 21 inches servers. Thus, the space efficiency jump up to 88 instead of 73%. You can notice at the rear here, the bus bar, one, two or three bus bar, depending of the total power requirement. All these features to maximize to 21 inches servers, power distribution by 12 volt bus bar makes that the serviceability is possible from the front. No need to access any more in the hot ale of data center in order to handle the PSU power cables. Usually, if you have 42 19 inches server, it means 42 cables with redundancy behind it's a mess. Focus on open rack. We still have all rack. And you can see here the power distribution. This model is one single bus bar. The power shelf here and here can provide the power to the different server. And you can see from the top view, you have more space than 19 inch solution. I explained you before that the power distribution is managed by centralized power shelf. You can see here, this is some model of power shelf. It exists uh, uh, like this 2.5 OpenU or 1 OpenU. This is a power, nominal power for the power shelf. So different size. But there are, for instance, five PSU plus one PSU for the redundancy. So this is what we called five plus one. Uh, if you have a failure on one PSU, the redundant PSU provides the power. This operation is managed automatically by ATS function, automatic transfer switch. The power shelf has controller and C13 outlet if you want to power switches. Second picture at the bottom show the battery backup system. It can be used as optional part if you want to energize your system during a certain period in case of general breakdown. The combination of power shelf plus the BBS are equivalent to UPS inside traditional data center. We can understand here again that this concept avoid to use expensive UPS, their point of failures and maintenance costs. And here as a reminder, and thanks to the centralized power shelf and 12 volt bus bar, for OCP technology, you don't need to access anymore at the rear of rack for the cable management. You can see here on the traditional one, with 42 servers, you have in total 84 cables to manage at the back. Where, still again for the traditional data center, the hot ale area temperature can easily reach 45 degrees Celsius. 
113 degrees Fahrenheit. Only allowed people can access on this area due to the temperature. With the optimization of power and cooling for OCP product, this temperature decreased by 10 degrees Celsius, approximately 18 degrees Fahrenheit, compared to the traditional data center. Again, a big advantage, we can understand why the innovation bricks have been done at this level also. And now, uh, if we have an overview of the, uh, of the complete uh, solution, on the left side, you have the traditional data center. For one megawatt data center, an average of 5 kW per rack, you have approximately 200 regular air cooled rack. You can see the space that you needed for, for that. Except all the advantage, reduction of uh, cooling cost by 30%. So you use also less space compared to the traditional data center. So the total data center, one megawatt, same level, the rack power uh, 6.7 kW. This is not the, the, the highest one. I would like to say for OCP product, uh, it is the low rack power, but in definitive, you reduce your total place less than 700 square meter. So around 150 OCP rack. The average, I would like to say, if we can say that, uh, for OCP rack, it is approximately 15 kW watts. So 15 kW uh, power per rack. Thank you very much, Toga. Uh, thank you so much. It was very interesting. Uh, we are almost at the end of the session. Uh, I already see some very interesting uh, questions uh, popping up in my chat box. I suggest we answer to a couple of them uh, right now, and then we'll make sure we answer the rest of your questions by email uh, as soon uh, as possible. So the first question is, uh, is a question I have uh, for you, Tolga. So, do you have any cost of consumption comparison between 19 inches and 21 inches uh, products? Yes, it's a good point. Yes, definitely we have something uh, something like that. Uh, I have a slide I didn't share it yet. Uh, yes, perfect. Thank you. So this uh, this uh, comparison give a lot of indication. In, in fact, how uh, clever is the OCP solution compared to the traditional 19.1. So let's have a look at the consideration, for instance, on this table. So on the left side, the 19 inch, 21 inches on the right side. IT power per rack, uh, 8kW, 14k, 14.4kW. Uh, we are going to uh, see the power consumption at the fan level between 19 and 21. So as an assumption, you have in total 40 uh, open new server. Uh, you have in total inside uh, this rack 360 fans as a power consumption. I let you also check the different uh, figures inside. When you move on OCP, and this is why also the engineer inside the community decided to change uh, this, this, uh, this block, uh, you have only, or in this case, 54 fans. Fan power consumption, 10 watts as an approximative uh, value. Uh, also understand that uh, the fan speed rotation is managed according to the temperature inside. More it is, uh, the temperature is increasing, more the speed rotation will be fast in order to extract the temperature. But uh, at the end, per year, on a 19-inch solution, one rack costs you only for the fan side more than 4,400 euros. When you move on the OCP, it is just 443 euros. So the saving per year only just for the fan is approximately 4,000 euros. If we have a look concerning the PEC and the centralized power shelf, 
PSU inside the server on the 19, where for the 21 inches, it has been decided to manage through the power shelf. The cost per PSU, per PSU the number of PSU inside the server, so 40 and the, with the redundancy 80 modules in total, the cost per rack, it is 16,000. When you move on OCP, and thanks to the power shelf, it costs less, definitely less. You save only for one rack, 12,000 euros. So it's a huge. And additionally, the advantage on this part is if you want to renew your server after three or five years, you don't have to change or count the cost of the PSU. PSU or the power shelf uh, can be reused for the new refresh of the server, where for the, P, for the PSU inside 19 inch server, it is no more useful. You have also to change and replace it, or at least have a new one. Thank you very much. Thank you for your answer. Uh, now a second question. Um, could you tell us what kind of processors are compatible with servers? Any specific brand, any specific partner? Mm. Okay, uh, good point also because usually inside or for the OCP product, we, we work with uh, Intel as a main uh, CPU uh, brand. But uh, we have also decided uh, still inside the OCP form factor to provide AMD processor as a solution. So our series, Capri, the name of the server is Capri, where for the Intel it is uh, Tiogapas mm -hmm. and Leopard. The AMD processor are suitable with the Capri series, uh, the ROM, APU, and the last generation Milan one. Okay. Um, and is it possible to add 19 inches servers inside uh, your open rack? Yes, definitely. This is uh, also the, 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 what the engineer think about uh, the rack system, the open rack, be able to, to mix all kinds of uh, product technology, 19 plus 21. Uh, you can put 19 inch server switches inside open rack. Okay, thank you for uh, your answers, um, Tolga. We are now uh, reaching the end of the session. Thank you very much, everybody, uh, for uh, connecting today. Thank you, uh, OCP and Steve, for having us today uh, on this uh, webinar. Uh, more webinars are coming from 2CRSI and, and the OCP, so stay tuned. Meanwhile, uh, you can visit our digital touch points, our websites and, and social media. Please do not hesitate to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter and stay tuned for more uh, webinars. Enjoy the rest of your day and thanks again for uh, connecting today. Thank you.